Since at least 335 BCE, people like Aristotle have been theorizing about the art of storytelling, saying that the rising and falling action of storytelling is what helps us to emotionally connect with the characters in a story. Is there an actual scientific basis for this, though? It turns out that there is. Today, I'm going to break down that research for you. Any storytellers know that the most important part of crafting a good story is to get your audience's attention. And this isn't easy because it takes energy from your brain to pay attention to something. So if your story isn't interesting, your audience's brains are going to wonder. And while you're reading a book or listening to a podcast or watching a video, your brain is paying attention to the story, but it's also scanning the environment. If the story is interesting enough, your brain will refocus on the story as it progresses. The rising and falling of storytelling that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is what makes a story interesting. The rising action in a story is the part of the story where the tension is building. This tension can create distress, which produces cortisol, a hormone in your brain that helps you to focus and pay attention. So basically, a story with a lot of suspense pulls you in because it helps to increase your cortisol levels. Another chemical response, an increase in oxytocin, comes after you start paying attention to a story. Oxytocin, which is sometimes called the moral molecule, is associated with feelings of empathy, care, and connection to others. In both humans and social rodents, oxytocin signals to us that another person or rodent is trustworthy and safe, and that we should reciprocate. When we're paying attention to a story, the increase in oxytocin levels starts when we connect with the characters by simulating their emotions and caring about them. This is why watching a movie like The Lion King might make you cry, even though you know that Mufasa and Simba are, don't really exist. In addition to looking at chemicals and hormones in your brain, scientists have also looked at brain activity when you're paying attention to a story. What they found is that during an emotional story with rising and falling action and compelling characters, the areas of your brain that are most active are associated with oxytocin production and theory of mind. Theory of mind is what we call the brain's ability to map out other people's intentions, and it guides our interactions with them. So, what does all of this mean? Well, besides telling us that Aristotle was right, this research has implications for advertisers. In one study, researchers found that they could predict the amount of money subjects would donate to a charity after watching a PSA with 80% accuracy based on their neural activity during the PSA. A similar study found that people whose brains responded to a PSA with increased cortisol and oxytocin donated 261% more money to the cause of the PSA than people whose brains responded by increasing only cortisol or oxytocin or neither. Marketers are already using this research to craft product advertisements. Thanks for watching.